Hey everyone, it is Kevin Henry, the Editor-in-Chief for DrByCuspid.com. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the DrByCuspid.com podcast. Super excited today to have Cairo Murphy from Stratus on today. I've gotten to know Cairo and his company a lot in the last few months, and I will tell you, I'm really excited about today's conversation. So Cairo, thanks for joining, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me, Kevin. Uh, super excited to be on Dr. By Cuspid. Well, you know, you you and I first connected around Chicago midwinter, and it's been so amazing to see what you've been doing, what your company's been doing. So I want everybody to know a little bit more about you and about Stratus as well before we really dive in. Yeah, I can give a little bit of overview of Stratus. I'm sure we're kind of getting out there. Some people have heard about us. Um, uh, what we do is we actually, we call insurance uh, companies with AI so that our dental practices don't have to. Um, what that kind of looks like is really insurance verification. So we will build a custom form you know, for the office. We will integrate into a practice management system, uh, much like Dentrix or EagleSoft, Open Dental, and we will actually use kind of your patient schedule and call each of these patients, get all the codes and frequencies, coverage um, of benefits, and actually write that back into a practice management system. You know, and I know you mentioned AI, which I know we're really getting our, our heads wrapped around here in the dental industry, what that means. And there's a misconception out there, I think, that AI is going to take some jobs away, uh, especially at the front desk, whenever you're talking about insurance and everything else. But your company is really focused on making sure that it's not taking jobs, but it's freeing up time so that they can do their jobs more effectively, correct? Yeah, so we've never uh, we've never replaced jobs. I, I do think that's a misconception. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting, um, we and we we recently actually just raised a, a big round of funding um, from some partners in San Francisco and in, from Utah, and so we brought on a lot of capital. And what's really interesting is kind of where AI is going. It's very verticalized, which means uh, that it's not meant to do everything. It's meant to do. It's basically a tool, uh, you know, kind of like a computer at the front office um, that it's good at doing, you know, certain things. Uh, and in our case, what this AI is really good at is calling insurance specifically about these forms. And so uh, there's a case study that we have that's really interesting that we have a practice um, or a group of four practices um, in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, called Mouthpiece. And we ran a case study with them recently, and we were able to save 63% of their kind of wage hours of what they were paying somebody at the front desk. And they were able to like better apply that not to what everyone doesn't want to do, which is insurance verification. I mean, that's of all the things that you're doing. Um, I worked at the front desk, um, you know, insurance verification definitely ranks the bottom, right? And you want to use web portals, you want to cut corners, you, you don't want to do the phone call and get everything you need. Um, you know, you'd much rather, you know, be talking with patients, you'd much rather be doing treatment planning, uh, you know, office referrals, uh, yeah, patient outreach, um, insurance verification ranks last. You'd rather even be calling on the status of claims uh, than doing that. And so they were able to, you know, better apply their time elsewhere. And, and I think that's what it's all about is making sure that you're working smarter, not harder. You know, we hear that all the time. And, and one thing that was drawn to me so quickly whenever you and I first met and we first talked about this product a few months ago was that this is really fully automated. I mean, it really is something that this is something where that front office person or the dental practice can really, uh, and, and, and help me walk through this because is it something, how do you get that, that integration with the software and really get that fully automation to kick off? Is there a learning curve here or what do dental practices need to know about that part? Yeah. So we, we've been very lucky. So that's, that's one thing is, yeah, I'm a very young uh, founder of a company growing very quickly, getting in clinics all over the United States. Um, so we had a lot of interesting investors, you know, one was Mike Baird from Henry Shine One, you know, former CEO of Henry Shine One. He's been really helpful. But another person who's been really helpful is actually the former co-founder and CTO of Weave. And so uh, his name is Clint Berry, and um, I'm sure you guys all know Weave. Uh, and one interesting thing is he actually helps us with that integration. So he builds out um, basically a Dentrix integration. It's, it takes two seconds for somebody in the front office to, to integrate their system uh, on their server or even on just their computer at the front desk. Uh, basically kind of in the implementation or onboarding phase, what we'll do with the office is we will identify with them, uh, you know, the, the use cases they want to use our software uh, for. Uh, basically, 
sliders and filters that will say, mm -hmm. do we want to use this for new patients? Do we want to use this for all, all patients that are coming in, uh, you know, a day before, you know, their schedule. Um, and then what we'll end up doing is because we have that integration, we see your schedule, we're able to, um, do it to your liking. And then when you just open up your, um, really your Stratus dashboard, all you're really seeing is ROI numbers. You're seeing things completed. Uh, but more importantly, uh, you don't even really have to use our software. It's, it's, uh, it's running in the background. You are just seeing, uh, what you'd normally be seeing in your practice management system, um, all done for you. And I think the important piece here is other people build, you know, software for you to be kind of weighed down with, or you have to use, there has to be training, there has to, you know, be kind of upkeep and, and management um, of that software tool. We build tools that will run in the background that, that you really don't have to manage or, or have, you know, oversight over. And, and, and I will tell you, that's one of the things that I loved. It really is something that you, you have this started. And then it really is something that, again, it takes a task off of the plate. And I think that that's such an important thing. What's one of the biggest questions, you know, I, I've seen you at so many trade shows, uh, you know, and I don't, like you said, Stratus is really getting out there. What's one of the biggest questions that you get whenever somebody comes up to your booth that, or maybe a misconception that you have to get past whenever somebody's talking to you about this product? Yeah. Early on, it was AI. Everyone was like very concerned. That's really changed. I don't know why it has, but in the last couple of months, everybody's, everybody's realizing, you know, the value of AI. Uh, the, the second biggest question I think we get is around ROI. And that's really interesting is for people who don't quite understand this process, there's, there's dentists that, you know, didn't go to business school, um, that are great at what they do, but they, you know, maybe aren't really understanding kind of the levers that kind of drive their, their, their business. Um, and there's office managers that know this problem, but haven't really, uh, you know, delved super deeply into, you know, why the certain codes and frequencies that the insurance won't provide easily, you know, why those are important. Or, or, or how that's actually driving revenue to the practice and making everybody, you know, richer, you know, hopefully everybody, what we really want is everybody to, you know, get pay raises <laughs> is what we really want. Um, so the ROI, this is, this is kind of an interesting uh, statistic that not everybody knows is, you know, the average practice, and this is corroborated not only by big dental studies, um, but also by just even our data that, uh, from all of our many customers, um, it's $600,000 a year is being written off to insurance um, wow. every single year uh, wow. per practice. And so uh, with Stratus, when we actually do this process correctly up front um, and we're able to actually call for every single patient, there's no surprises, there's no, uh, you're not stuck in a hard position um, with you know trying to give estimates to the patient and maybe charging them later or swallowing costs. Um, after all said and done, we are saving 30 to 50% of that um, yeah. you know, with AI. And so, and we think we could do more uh, in the future, but that, that's where we are uh, right now. So the ROI piece is, is really big. And I just want to hit that number again, because that's something worth mentioning. It's $600,000 on average is being written off. And if you can reclaim some of that, I mean, that, that seems like such a no brainer to me to make sure that you're not only alleviating the tasks that really people at the front may not want to do, but you're also reclaiming that money that can make such an impact on your bottom line. Yeah, no, uh, it honestly, it's been an easy sell. Uh, <laughs> when I first started the company, and this is, this is kind of a funny, like, uh, you know, story of when I started, uh, I, I went to the greater New York dental meeting. I had worked in the front desk and I, I was technical by my background. I was going to school, um, getting a master's degree in information systems management was going to go work in big tech, uh, you know, had that all lined up, was going to go build AI for them actually. And I started selling this without a product at all. I approached dentists, DSOs, and I said, Hey, I don't have this right now today. I do need you to pay me. And, uh, this is what I'll be able to do for you. And they were, you know, everyone was really, really nice and really awesome and supportive and believed in us, uh, early on. And yeah, really glad they, they, they did that. Uh, so it, it was actually an easy sell. It's never been a, a tough sale. Uh, even without that ROI number, it's like, Everybody knows this is a big problem. And so, and everyone's looking for solutions right now. And, and obviously you mentioned the DSO side of things, but this is a product that works, you know, solo practitioner, DSO, I mean, all, all shapes and sizes of practices, correct? Correct. Yeah. We started, so yeah, we had a couple small DSOs in the beginning, but it was largely a, uh, you know, single practice uh, tool 
uh, for the longest time. And so that's really where we catered uh, was kind of the smaller market, you know, mom and pop shop or, you know, people, yeah. um, just normal, normal people at smaller offices. And so now, yeah, now it's a bigger thing. Now it's uh, useful for everyone. That's a very good thing, man. So, you know, I know that this is a land or landscape, I should say, that is constantly evolving. And and I'm really glad to hear you say that people are starting to ask less about AI. I feel like that there's some kind of understanding going. As we enter the second half of the year, what are you looking for in terms of not only the technology that you work with at Stratus, but maybe what, what our listeners need to know about AI and maybe where we're going in the rest of 20? Yeah, so... I do think that there will be a clear market winner. Uh, so in terms of like the competitive landscape, and that's kind of what I'll, what I'll talk about. So we just raised all this, this money. We're, we went to Dykema we have all these DSOs signing up and, and, you know, as well as we get a lot of inbound, right. Uh, you know, listeners from, from other podcasts or, you know, however people find us, um, they are, you know, reaching out every day and we're, we're setting their, their offices up and, and, and making an impact. And so in terms of like the competitive landscape, um, no one is really using AI. What we've seen, what's been really interesting is they're claiming to use AI. We're like the only AI first, uh, solution. So yeah, we won't name any names, but there's really two like segments of the competitive landscape, um, right now that a lot of people think are really, really great companies. Um, one is they're very, I want to say general or, you know, simple tools, uh, that will only get you 50% of the information from 50% of the insurances. Mm -hmm. Um, but they package it really well and they market it really well. And, and that's a big hurdle for us because they're like, we've tried five other platforms. They're all the same. It's an API that they're trying to hit. Um, it's provided by insurance. And so obviously it's limited, um, you know, but it's cheap, uh, but you get what you pay for. Right. And so that's, that's kind of the problem is, you know, they're still calling and really it's not making that big of an impact to their bottom line. It really isn't because I mean, Delta dental gives you the same information. Um, and so that's like one perspective of, of the, of, of the market is, you know, people using all the same clearing houses, all the same, um, APIs, um, that are actually owned by insurance. And, and that's what they don't tell you is, uh, insurance really controls the situation there. And so the other end of the market is actually outsourcing, right? That's something that we've been seeing. Um, and it's really interesting, like, um, and I think it probably is very interesting from the perspective. And I try to put myself in the shoes of a, uh, of a doctor. And I'm like, okay, that, that makes sense. Uh, the only problem with that is, you know, obviously, um, you know, you're trusting, you know, humans that do it at the end of the day, there's really high turnover there. Like you think there's high turnover in your office. You wouldn't believe that the high turnover that's happening, you know, in the Philippines or in India. And so they're making mistakes, right. That you're not seeing. Um, the other thing is you're paying, you know, three to five X what you'd be paying with something like Stratus or a software solution. And some people are thinking that's worth the business cost, but what we're seeing with those companies is they, they can grow really quickly, but then they level off, um, that their growth can't, they can't scale and you don't get those, um, uh, benefits of, 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 of getting discounts, um, as the company scales. And so, uh, everyone's trying to say they're AI now, that, that's something that we never saw. <laughs> <laughs> um, until we arrived on the scene and now everyone's like, oh, AI. And we're like, oh, that's so interesting. They must be doing AI too. We look into it or we know people in the companies and we'll reach out and they're like, yeah, it's not really AI, but that's how we're, we're marketing it. So I, I think that's going to be hard for, um, some practices is they're going to get really excited about AI and, uh, there'll be some products that will deliver on real AI and get you real results. And then there will be some that, you know, are, you know, copycats or, um, right now it's kind of the, the wild west that that yep. really anyone can claim that they're using AI. Well, like I said, I've been very impressed with what Stratus has done, how you all have grown and the opportunities that are out there for dental practices to take advantage of what you all are doing. So let's make sure people know how to reach you, how to find out more about Stratus and how they can kind of uh, see this AI for themselves and how it can make a difference on their bottom line. Yeah. So how they reach us uh, right now is they hit our website. It's usestratus.com. That's U S E stratus s-t-r-a-t-u-s.com um so a lot of people are reaching us inbound that way we're on linkedin you could look up stratus we have a little logo that's almost like these uh water molecule uh you know looking uh logo with with a black background and and the reason uh it is like a water molecule looking thing is like stratus is like in the cloud right and so there you go um that's kind of where it comes from. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been, 
definitely interesting to kind of see our, our brand grow and, and people nice. uh, recognize us. Well, we're going to make sure to have that information in the show notes. It's going to be real easy for you to find, real easy for you to connect with fine folks at Stratus. And again, Cairo, thanks so much for being on today. Really enjoy the time and continued success, my friend. Yeah, thank you so much, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thanks to all of you who listened to this episode of the DrByCuspid.com podcast. We love talking about those new products that are out there. They're going to help your practice grow. Make sure you check out Stratus. Uh, we'll have everything that you need to know in the show notes. Until next time, Kevin Henry, Editor-in-Chief for Dr. by Cuspid, signing off. Wishing you nothing but success.